Hi, welcome to another video. So there has been quite a buzz in the coding community lately about this mysterious new AI model that just dropped out of nowhere. I am talking about Code Supernova. And honestly, the whole situation around this model is pretty fascinating. So let me walk you through everything I have discovered about this stealth release and why it's got developers talking. Code Supernova appeared overnight across multiple coding platforms like Kilo Code, Windsurf, Cursor and a bunch of other AE agents. Now here is where it gets interesting. Nobody really knows who's behind this thing. I mean, we are talking about a frontier level AI model that just show up without any official announcement from the big players like OpenAI, Anthropic or even Google. The speculation is absolutely wild right now. Some folks in the community are saying this could be Cloud Sonnet 4.5. Others are convinced it's a new Grok code 2 from XAI. But here is the thing, and I want to emphasize this. These are all just rumors at this point. Nobody has concrete proof about who's actually developed this model. What do we know is that it's being offered completely free on these various platforms, which is pretty unusual for a model of this caliber. Now, before I dive deep into the technical stuff, let me tell you about the capabilities that really caught my attention. This is not just another coding model. We are talking about a multi-model AI that can process images alongside text, which opens up some really interesting possibilities for developers. The context window is massive too. We are talking about 200,000 tokens combined. That's roughly 128,000 for input and around 64,000 for output. What really stand out to me is the speed. I have been testing this thing extensively and I can tell you that the response time are incredibly fast. There is no throttling, no usage caps, at least for now. It's also got reasoning capabilities built in, where you can actually adjust the reasoning level from low to medium to high, depending on what you are working on. Alright, so let me talk about what makes this multi-model aspect so compelling. When I am working on front-end projects, I often have wireframe or design mockup that I need to translate into code. With Code Supernova, I can literally screenshot my design, paste it into the chat and ask the model to build out the component. It's pretty remarkable how well it understands visual context. I have also found it incredibly useful for debugging. You know those times when you are starting at an error message in your console and you just can't figure out what's going wrong. Instead of copying and pasting text, you can just take a screenshot of your entire development environment, the error, the code, everything, and the model can analyze the whole situation visually. Now I want to show you exactly how to get started with this model because the setup is actually really straightforward. I am going to walk you through using it with Kilo Code since that's one of the primary platform offering access right now. The entire process takes maybe 2 minutes from start to finish. So the first step is installing Kilo Code if you have not already. You can find it in the VS Code marketplace or if you are using JetBrain, there is a plugin available there too. Once you have got that installed, you will need to open up the extension setting. In the settings, you want to make sure you are using Kilo Code as your AP provider. This is important because Cloud Supernova is currently exclusive to certain platforms and Kilo Code is one of the main launch partners. After that setup, you should see a drop down where you can select your model. Code Supernova should appear in that list and once you select it, you are ready to go. Let me show you a couple of practical examples that I think really demonstrate the capabilities here. I decided to build something that combines both the coding capabilities and the visual understanding features. I am going to create a task management application. So I am going to provide the model with the handwritten wireframe. So I sketched out a simple task manager interface with the sidebar for categories and main area for task card and a header with some basic controls. I will take a photo of this sketch and upload it along with a prompt asking the model to build a functional task manager based on this design. The model starts by analyzing the image and breaking down what it sees. It identifies the different sections 
understand the layout structure and then begin generating the HTML, CSS and JavaScript needed to bring this design to life. What's impressive is how it maintains the overall structure while adding modern styling and interactive elements that were not shown in my rough sketch. The generated application includes all the functionalities for the task and the responsive design that work well on different sizes. The whole thing took maybe a couple of minutes to generate and the quality is honestly impressive for a first pass. For my second example, I want to test the reasoning capabilities with a more complex coding challenge. I am going to ask the model to create a data visualization dashboard. This is the kind of task that typically requires careful planning and multiple iteration to get right. I will set the reasoning level to high for this one because I want to see how the model approaches the problem solving process. What's interesting is that you can actually see the model thinking through the solution step by step. It starts by outlining the architecture, identify the different components needed and then works through the implementation in a logical order. The attention to detail in the generated code is really something else. One thing I want to point out is that while the model is impressive, it's not perfect. I have run into situations where it gets stuck in loops on really complex tasks similar to what some users have reported with other Grok models. This might actually be evidence supporting the theory that Core Supernova is related to XCI technology. But again, this is just a speculation. The model also sometimes struggles with longer code bases where it needs to maintain context across multiple files. It can handle large projects, but you might need to break down your request into smaller, more focused tasks to get the best result. Now let's address the elephant in the room, which is the mystery surrounding this model's origin. The fact that nobody knows who created it is a little concerning. We are seeing similar pattern to previous stealth releases where companies test their model through third-party platform before making official announcements. Some of the evidence people are pointing to include the model's behavior pattern, response formatting, and certain technical characteristics that seem to align with either Anthropics or XCI's previous releases. But honestly, until we get official confirmation from one of these companies, it's all just educated guessing. What I can tell you is that the model feels different from what we have seen before. The multimodal capabilities are more refined than some of the earlier attempts and the integration with coding workflow is really well thought out. Whoever built this clearly understand the developer experience and what tools we actually need in our daily works. The timing of the release is also interesting. We are seeing increased computation in the AI coding space with GitHub Copilot, Cursor and other tools constantly improving their offering. A stealth release like this could be a way for a company to gather real-world usage data before making a bigger announcement. From a practical standout, I would definitely recommend trying out Code Supernova while it's still free. Even if you would already using other AI coding systems, the multimodal capabilities alone make it worth experimenting with. I have found out particularly useful for prototyping when I have visual references or when I need to quickly turn mockups into a working code. The 200,000 context window is also a game changer for larger projects. You can feed it entire code base and have conversation about refactoring, optimization or adding new features without losing context. So I am curious to see how this plays out. Will we get an official announcement about who's behind Code Supernova? Will the free access continue or is this just a limited time promotion? These are questions that only time will answer. Alright so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video where we will continue exploring the latest development in the AI and development tools. Until then happy coding and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.